Today is the first game that both of these sides have played since the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. So we observed a minute's silence in her memory. Well, the target was furlong, but doesn't quite work out. So this is a chance now for Whitaker. Slipping cannon, first chance of the game. Beadle gets down well to his right to save. Well, they failed to complete the clearance on a couple of occasions there, the Seagulls. It was rolled into the path of cannon by Whitaker, And that's the first shot in anger at goal. We played across from Whitaker, who provided Cannon with the early chance. And Anderson floats one forward. Can't bring it under his spell at the first time of asking, but second time Cannon goes for goal on the angle. This chance a bit trickier than the first one. Simple enough stuff for Beadle, but a couple of early, early warning signs there for the Seagulls. Down towards Ferguson. Doesn't get there on this occasion, but... Furlong will. Good chance here for Perpion to drive forward. To his right, Evan Ferguson with the effort. Oh, I think that's hit the upright. Took a slight deflection on the way through, but that's much more like it from the Seagulls. All started with the nod in field from Furlong into Perpion, who's just invited towards the edge of the area. To his right was Ferguson. Gets the ball out of his feet. Excellent effort. As I say, takes a deflection on the way through. So the Seagulls played out to this near side with Spong. Spong was looking for Perpion, almost made its way through to Ferguson before Everton clear as far as turns on halfway. Lovely bit of control there to pluck it out of the sky. This now is Shushane. Into Perpion once more. Rides one challenge, then another, and then gets the shot off. Deflection on it, which took all the sting out of it and into the grateful hands of Laban. But again, it's another neat move on this near side. Furlong into Shushane, and then Shushane with the ball into the channel, which Perpion latches onto, moves in field, bided his time, and then does let the strike off. And the score remains goalless. That's some decent build up play here from the Toffees, just threading some neat balls around. This is Whitaker over towards the left side. Now on the left edge of the area, Everton have it. Seagulls do enough to clear, only as far away as Mills. Mills now, he's got Price inside of him. Over on that left flank is Hunt. Hunt with the ball in towards Price, and I think Turns got something on that to put it behind for a corner. Beautiful ball into the box. And then continuing his run, Price got something on it, and Turns had to put that one behind. So Price able to go out wide. And it comes again to Cannon with the effort. Well, he doesn't need a second invite, Tom Cannon, this afternoon to have a go. So then, Spong with the corner in towards Turns. Oh, it comes back off the bar. Sungi with the effort afterwards. Stabbed away from target. Well, it's the Albion who finished the half stronger. That header crashing against the crossbar, I think, there. But he just couldn't quite nod it low enough. Well, for all their attempts at possession, the Toffees still yet to break the deadlock. Maybe the Albion can punish them here, knocking it around on this near side. Shot is blocked from Ferguson. I fill into Perpion. Maybe Ferguson will pick it up again here, outside of the boot. And that's the first time Laban has been called into action for some time. Really smooth move on this near side from the Seagulls. Need to see a bit more of that. Still goalless here. This now is Cannon, there's plenty of space ahead of him. Will it be a case of cometh the hour, cometh the man for here? Plenty of attempts for the island under 20 today. Maybe not Cannon though, it's fed into Stanley Mills, who tucks it away low past James Beadle. Well, it's taken them an hour of knocking on the Albion door and it's not Tom Cannon who gives them the lead. It's Stanley Mills. And you have to say, on the balance of play, probably deserved for the home side. Comes back now to Kyle John, ball out of his feet, into the area, it goes towards Cannon, and his flying header is just wide of Beadle's goal. Switched the play well so far this afternoon, that's one thing you have to give credit to the Albion for, and now turns can switch it over towards a fire, instead it's Perpion that picks it up. First time we've seen the Albion with a bit of space ahead and on this near side. Ferguson lays it off to Perpion. Can he find the right delivery? It's over to Furlong! Well... 
He was sprinting forward to latch onto that and probably had a bit too much momentum. So then Everton doing well just to wind down the clock kit with this free kick. Of course, Tom Cannon is the target. He collects it really well, but straight after in goes Sungi there with a rather industrious challenge. But the referee brings the end to proceedings here. The Albion go down by a goal to nil in Southport. But they go back to the south coast empty-handed. Finished here. Everton won. Brighton nil.